greetings from Lafayette Presbyterian Church on this fifth Wednesday after Pentecost. continue the story of the movement of the Israelites from Egypt to the land that God had promised Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. From the 16th chapter of Exodus. The whole Israelite community set out from Elim and came to the desert of Sin, which is between Elam and Sinai, on the fifth day of the second month after they had come out of Egypt, in the desert, the whole community grumbled against Moses and Aaron. The Israelites said to them, If only we had died by the Lord's hand in Egypt. There we were set round pots of meat and ate all the food we wanted. But you have brought us out into the desert to starve. The entire assembly is going to die. Then the Lord said to Moses, I will rain down bread from heaven for you. The people are to go out each day and gather enough for that day. In this way, I will test them to see whether they will follow my instructions. On the sixth day, they are to prepare what they bring in and that is to be twice as much as they gather on the other days. So Moses and Herod said to the Israelites, In the evening you will know that it was the Lord who brought you out of Egypt, and in the morning you will see the glory of the Lord, because he has heard your grumbling toward him and against him. Who are we that we should grumble who are we that you should grumble against us? Moses also said, You will know that it is the Lord when he gives you meat to eat in the evening and all the bread you want in the morning, because he have heard your grumbling against him. Who are we? You are not grumbling against us, but against the Lord. Then Moses said to Aaron, said to the, Say to the entire Israelite community, Come before the Lord, for he has heard your grumbling. While Aaron was speaking, the whole Israelites' community, they looked up toward the desert, and there was the glory of the Lord appearing in the cloud. The Lord said to Moses, I have heard the grumbling of the Israelites. Tell them, at the twilight you will eat meat, and in the morning you will be filled with bread. Then you will know that I am the Lord your God. 
The Israelites did as they were told. Some gathered much, some gathered little. And when they had measured it, the ones who had gathered much did have too much, and the ones who had gathered little did not have too little. Everyone had gathered just as much as they needed. Then Moses said to them, No one is keeping any of it until morning. However, some of them paid no attention to Moses. They kept part of it till the morning, but it was full of maggots and began to smell. So Moses was very angry with them. Each morning, everyone gathered as much as they needed. And when the sun grew hot, it melted away. On the sixth day, they gathered twice as much, two omers for each person. And the leaders of the community came and reported this to Moses. He said to them, this is what the Lord commanded. Tomorrow is to be the day of the Sabbath, a rest, a holy Sabbath. So bake what you want to bake, but what, and boil what you want to boil. Save whatever is left and keep it until morning. So they saved it until morning, as Moses commanded, and it did not stink or ma have magnets in it. Eat it today, Moses said, because today is a Sabbath to the Lord. You will not find any of it on the ground today. Six days you are to gather it, but on the seventh day, the Sabbath, there will not be any. Nevertheless, some of the people went out on the seventh day to gather it, but they found none. Then the Lord said to Moses, How long will you refuse to keep my commandments and my instructions? Bear in mind that the Lord has given you the Sabbath. That is why on the sixth day he gives you bread for two days. Everyone is to say, say where they are on the seventh day. No one is to go out. So the people rested on the seventh day. The people of Israel called the manna, it, it was white like condor seed and tasted like waffles made with honey. Moses said, this is what the Lord has commanded. Take an, wafer made, take an omer of the manna and keep it for the generations to come so they can see the bread I gave you in the wilderness when I brought you out of Egypt. So Moses said to Aaron, take a jar and put an omer of manna in it, then place it before the Lord to be kept for generations to come. As the Lord commanded Moses, Aaron put the manna with the tablets of, of the covenant of law so that it might be preserved. The Israelites ate the manna 40 years until they came to a land that was settled. They ate the manna until they reached the borders of Canaan. May the Lord add his blessing to the reading and the hearing of his holy word. Let us pray. Father, Lord, we are often like your children in the wilderness. And we complain that we're not provided for, that we're not protected. Yet when we see evidence of your perfect, your provision and your protection, we say, aren't we smart to have provided for ourselves and kept ourselves safe? Today we sincerely pray for your provision and your protection. And then we ask that your spirit might remind us day by day, even hour by hour, where our provision and where our protection comes from. We believe, Father, that you care for us, that you love us, that you protect us, that you feed us, that you provide us water, so grant us thankful hearts that each day 
we might not only bring before you our requests, but also our thanksgivings. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you.